and mix up the sort of the order of classes today. We have got some weights. You don't need to use too many weights today, but we are going to do a combination of weights and circuits. And the session today, we're going to do three sets of 30 seconds for each exercise. The first 30 and then the last 30 will be the same, and then the middle 30 will be different. So I also apologize, we've got some work in the passage fixing our intercom, so if there's a bit of noise, I'm sorry, but we desperately need it, so thanks for that. <laughs> All right, let's start warming up, rolling those shoulders. So today's class is tough, I will warn you. If you need to take a break, if the 30 seconds gets too long and you need to come down, that's absolutely fine. I can't guarantee I'm gonna make all of it. I trained already today, so I might uh, do a little bit of teaching. <laughs> and, oh, thanks, Laura. And let's go, rolling the shoulders. Breathing out, nice big circles. That's it. Okay, let's go into our cactus, taking a nice breath in, breathing in, arms up, and breathing out, squeezing the shoulders into your waist, lifting up that chest, breathing in, arms up, and breathing out as you stretch, nice flat back, pull that tummy in away from the floor, and folding down, and on a breath out, curling up, really feeling that stretch in that low back, one vertebra at a time, shoulders down and back, and head comes up last. We're going for three, breathing in, and out, squeezing those elbows into your waist, breathing in, arms up, and breathing out as you stretch, belly button pull in, reaching away, and folding down. Curling up, tucking under, really trying to tilt that tailbone under. Lovely. On this last one, breathing in. And out. Lifting up that chest, looking up at the ceiling, breathing in, arms up. Breathing out as you stretch, reaching away. And falling down. From here, walk your hands out into a plank. Stepping your legs back, and we're going to go into a downward dog. Back into a plank for five times, nice and slow. And stretch, really think of extending that thoracic spine. Breathing out. As you come back into that plank, really think of sliding your shoulders down your back, pulling that leg button in. And stretch. Nice, we've got two more. Reach. This is part of our warm up. Last one. And forward. Coming down onto the mat. You're going to put your right leg in front of you, knee over ankle, hands on the floor, sliding that back leg back, and rolling those hips side to side. Good. Getting a nice loosen up. And from here, digging that heel in, taking that leg back. Getting that hamstring stretched out, straight in the knee and coming forward. We've got five. Reaching back. And forward. Lift your chest. Three. Beautiful. Making sure this knee goes straight. You're all pretty flexible. So change sides. Other leg in front, my right leg, knee over ankle, hands on the floor, and let's rotate those hips side to side. That's it. Loosening it off. And stretching back, digging that heel in. And coming forward. Nice. And reach. Straighten that front knee, digging the heel in. Getting that stretch all the way from your insertion on your sit bone. Two more. Reaching back. And last one. We're having a nice warm up with this. Good. Turning to face the camera. Stay on that left knee. Right leg out to the side. Hand on the floor. Reaching over. And we're going to rotate shoulders down. And back to the front. 
We're going for four, breathing in and out. Reach, stretch that top arm away from you. One more. Very nice, taking those hands in front of you, you're gonna take your bottom back towards your heel and coming forward. So it's sort of a half child's pose, keep that leg up to the side, push back. Nice, we've got two more. Stretch. Last one, taking it all the way back. And forward, lovely. Let's change sides. Right knee, left leg out, hand on the floor. Reaching over. And rotate towards the floor. And back. We go for four, breathing in and out. Two more. Last one. Very nice, taking those hands in front of you. Take your bottom back towards that heel. And forward, turn this foot on the side so you get a really big stretch all the way up. Two more, reaching back. Stretch. Good, and last one. Very nice. Right. If you've got your foam roller, grab your roller. If you don't have a roller, you can use a rolled up mat. We're just going to lie on the roller, activate our core, and do one last mobility exercise. I've realized it's so good for us to really work on getting mobile. So from here, rowing back onto your roller. Arms up to the ceiling. You want to breathe out, pull that belly button in, squash your low back onto the roller. Connect, scooping in, breathing out as you lift one leg up and down. You want to think of sliding those shoulders down and back. Breathing out as you lift that leg. Tummy pulled in, control, nice. Four, we're going for ten. Perfect job. Tummy pulled in. This really tests whether you're actually activating your core, because if you're not, you're going to fall off the roller. Last one. Nice. From here, take the arms behind your head to the floor and lift up those hips. Now from here, curl down one vertebra at a time. Make your coccyx the last thing that rolls down onto the roller. Arms up, breathing out, come into a sit-up. Nice. Hands on the floor in front of you and lift up those hips. You can use a little bit of momentum to help you with the going up. Curling down. If you need to use your hands to help, go for it. We're going for five. Arms back, lift the hips. Curling down. Breathing out, pull your belly button in as you come into a sit up. Take your hands quite far in front of you and then lift the hips. That's it. If you need to use your hands to lift up, no problem. And breathing out as you curl down one bit away at a time. We're going for three more. Such a good mobility. And curl. Breathing out. Because the surface is unstable, we're also using that core. Lift. We've got two more in your own time. Breathing out, tummy pull in. Stretching those shoulders. Curling down through the spine. Breathing out as you're coming up. That really works the tummy. Nice, we've got one last one. Curling down, beautiful job. Tucking down all the way. Breathing out. And last one, let's lift it up. Stay hanging here. Grab your elbows and just swing side to side. And on a breath out, curling up. Nice, we should feel ready to go. All loose and limber. We can take the roller out the way. We're gonna use it just now for glutes. So keep it close to hand. All right. We're going to go for a 30 second sumo squat hold. If you want to hold a weight with this, you can, but really we're working isometric connection. 
So we're gonna do 30 seconds, knees back, we're gonna hold it. From here, you can lean a little bit forward, stick your bum back to activate those glutes. We're gonna hold for 30. Then we're gonna do 30 coming up onto the toes, going down. Then we're gonna hold for 30 again, okay. At any point, if you need to straighten your legs coming out of it, you do you. Let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Dropping it down. Now from here, we still wanna focus on pulling that belly button in. Knees back, shoulders down and back. You wanna activate your glutes a bit more, you can lean a little bit forward, stick your bum back. Still think of pushing those knees out. We've got 10 seconds, then we're gonna go down and up. And when you come up, go onto your tippy toes. Shoulders down and back in three, two, one. Let's go, rising up and down. Tummy pulled in, nice and low. Really make sure you straighten these legs up. Breathing out. The 30 seconds, 30 seconds initially doesn't feel that hard. By the end of the workout, we'll be feeling this. Going down and up, we've got five seconds. Three, two, and hold it down here. Push those knees back. Pull that tummy in. Shoulders down and back. You're starting to feel your inner thighs. Breathing out. Tummy pulled in, that's it. Woo, we've got 15 seconds. This last 30 feels a little longer. Holding it there. Shoulders down and back. Keep that chest lifted for five, three, two, one. Now we get 30 seconds to rest. So next one, we're gonna go into a static lunge. We're gonna hold the lunge down. Then for the next 30, we're gonna lunge, knee up, and then hold it down for 30. Then we're going to rest for 30 and change sides. Okay, grab a sip of water. We're going in five seconds. Let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. Dropping down. Now when you're in this lunge, make sure this front knee is over your ankle. You don't want to be there. Tilting that tailbone. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders down and back. And breathe. We got 10 seconds. This felt like a great idea when I wrote the program. I might have to apologize later. Three, two, one. We're gonna lunge, knee up, stepping back. Tummy pulled in all the time. We're going for 30 seconds, control it. This front knee, make sure it stays facing forward. Don't let it roll in or out. Very nice. 15 seconds to go. Up nice and tall. Five. Three. Two. And one. Settle down into that lunge hold. Front knee facing forward. Tilt that tailbone. Shoulders down and back. Lift your chest. Drop that back knee. And we hold. Push through this front leg. Squeeze for 10. Use that breath to help you. My legs are quivering. Three, two, one. Well done, shake it out. We're going to the other side. So it is quite amazing how hard a static hold is. And we need to fatigue the muscle to really fire up all those last few fibers. We're kind of recruiting everything. We've got 15 seconds to go. We're going to use these 30 seconds to rest. I'm not trying to fast forward. Setting up, other leg in front. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go, dropping it down. Watch your front knee. Other leg down. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders down and back, lifting the chest. Breathing out. Use that breath, really focus on pushing through this front knee. We've got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna lunge knee up. Squeeze, keep tilting. Three, two, one, lunge. Lift the knee. Breathing out, stepping back. As 
as you lift that knee, breathing out, tummy pulled in. That's really good form, everyone. Perfect. Makes you appreciate movement. Feels much easier than the hold. We've got 10 seconds, dropping down and up. Five. Three. Two. Stepping back and one. Let's hold it here. Again, check your front knee. Don't let it roll in or out. Tilt. Lift the chest, shoulders down and back. Beautiful, holding it there. Keep nice and low, 15 seconds. Lift that pelvic floor, tummy in. Push through the front leg. For five, three, two, one. Shake it out, very nice. We're nearly done with our legs. We've got a couple more leg exercises. We can grab some light weights for this next round. We're gonna do narrow squats. So we're gonna move the first 30 seconds. We're gonna do 30 like that. Then we're gonna hold it down for 30. Then go back to movement, okay? So I'm switching up the order. Grabbing your weights, let's get ready to go. In three, two, one, feet together, palms facing forward. Drop down and up. When you take the weight above your head, make sure you're not taking it right back and that you're arching. Keep it slightly in front of you. Feet together, tummy pulled in. Dropping that bottom. Nice, we've got five seconds, then we're gonna hold it down there. Three, two, one. Now I want your weight back through your heels. Lift your chest. You can lift the weights up so that you're not pulling on your lower back. Tummy pulled in, push through those heels. Breathing out, that's it. 15 seconds to go. If you need to break it, coming up. Join straight back down. Tummy pulled in, we got five. Three, two, one. Dropping down and up. Weight going back, arms above your head, but not that you arch your back. Tummy pulled in, squeeze. Nice. Breathing out as you take that weight up. 10 seconds. Keep your palms facing forward the whole way. Shoulders away from the ears. Three, two, one. Very nice, pop those weights down. Coming to lie on your back, grab your roller. We're gonna put your feet on the roller. So from here, we're gonna do 30 seconds going up and down. Then 30 seconds holding, knees open and close. Then 30 seconds up and down. Let's get ready to go in 10 seconds. When you're lifting up, really push down through your feet so the roller doesn't leave you. We're going in three, two, one, breathing out. Curling up and down, pull that belly button in. That's it, so pushing down through those feet. Making sure you're not pushing out. That's it. We've got 10 seconds and you're gonna hold it up there and open and close the knees. In three, two, one, now hold it, open and close. We keep those hips up, tilt that tailbone, squeeze. That's beautiful. Tummy pull in, squeezing through that bum. Breathing out. 10 seconds. If you feel your word is slipping, correct it. Nice, in five seconds, we're gonna go up and down. Three, two, one, down and up. Squeeze through the bum. Lifting up, connect, pull the belly button in. Nice, 20 seconds. Breathing out as you lift. And tummy pulled in. We've got five, three, two, one, and relax it out, stretch out those legs. 
Right, now we're done with the roller. So, going to the next exercise, we're going to go into a plank for 30 seconds on our elbows. Then from the plank, we're going to go into a downward dog. So we're going to plank for 30, then go downward dog and plank for 30, and then back to planking for 30. If this hurts your back, if it's too much, put your knees down on the floor. If you need to have a break and join us back, it's not about pushing you to pain. It's just about trying to fatigue the muscles. If you reach fatigue, stop, join when you can, okay? And I'm speaking to myself as well. We're going in five seconds. Let's start setting it up. Clasping your hands, nose in front of your hands. Three, two, one, let's go. Tummy pulled in, shoulders down and back. Have your feet nice and wide. Keep correcting your posture, don't let your back arch. 15 seconds, then we're going to go downward dog. If you want to have a little rest in the downward dog, you can. Nice, we've got five, three, two, one. Push back, coming forward. So it's a little bit of an active rest. Breathing out, tummy pull in. Good job. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna hold that downward dog again. Up to plank. Arms are slipping. Keep it up, that's amazing. We've got five, three, two, one. Coming back into that plank. Nose in front of your hands. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, squeeze your bottom. Breathing out, pushing those elbows into the floor. 15 seconds to go. Keep going guys, keep breathing. 10. We will earn our 30 seconds. Five, three, two, one. And stretch it out. Wow, well done. Shoo. This is a sweaty mess in here. Right. The next one we're gonna go into a side half plank. Now you know that's my least favorite. So we're gonna go, we're gonna hold it here for 30. We're gonna take the leg up and down for 30, then we're gonna hold it for 30. I have no expectation of keeping this the whole way. So just join in and out when you can. This is a tough one. We're going in 15 seconds. Enjoy your rest. Let's set it up. Elbow directly under your shoulder. Lifting up the rib cage. Your underneath leg stays down. Let's lift it up. Tummy pulled in. And we're gonna hold it here. You wanna keep this leg in line with your body. If you get tired, drop it down. You can always go into a half plank. 15 seconds. Join when you can if you need a break. Whew. Five, three, two, one, leg down and up. Very nice, we need to drop it down, you can. Shoulder down and back. That's it, keep going, you guys are machines. 15 seconds to go, it feels like the longest 30 seconds in the world. Five, three, two, one, let's go, hold it up, 30 seconds. I can take a little break, take a break if you need. Squeeze, use the noise. Whew. We've got 20 seconds to go. Tummy pulled in. 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Goodness gracious, that was awful. Well done. <laughs> Have some water. I think you guys are stronger than I am with that work, honestly. I need to work on my side stuff. This will do it. Good job. We're going to go up to the other side. We've got 20 seconds to go. Resting, as I said, come in and out. If you need to go down, come back up. It's not about getting injured. It's trying to build up some endurance. 10 seconds. Let's set it up. Lift up that rib cage. Elbow directly under the shoulder. Bottom leg bent and let's go. 
Lifting up. Pushing that elbow into the floor. Tummy in. Breathing out. Honestly, time is standing still. 15 seconds. That's it. Keep thinking of pulling that belly button in. Nice. We got five. Then we're going to lift that leg up and down. Three, two, one. Down and up. That's it. If you need to just come into a half side plank. Very good. 15. You. That's it. Keep it up, guys. Well done. Five. Three, two, one, hold it there. <sighs> Breathing out, pushing that elbow into the ground. Keeping that leg up. <sighs> We've got 10 seconds. <sighs> Five, three, two, one, and relax. Oh, died. Well done, that was amazing. Right, we're gonna come up into standing. Break it up a little bit from the planking. Give us a mini break. You're going to grab your weights. We're going to stand on one leg. So you're going to stand. Let's go on our left leg to start. With our weights, standing up nice and tall. I don't want you sinking into that hip. Growing tall. We're going to do 30 seconds. Bicep curl. Then holding the weights here, either static or open and close for 30 seconds. And then hammer curls. So biceps, hammer curls is where your palms stay facing you the whole time. So the first one we twist, then we hold it, either hold or open and close, and then hammers. Right, we're going in five, standing on one leg, up nice and tall, squeeze that bum. Three, two, one. Now while we're doing this, really focus on your form. Shoulder blades down and back, tummy pulled in. I don't want to see this, which is partly why I'm getting you standing on one leg. It's very difficult to swing. We've got 10 seconds. You also don't want to sink. Grow tall. Five, three, two, one. Now hold the weight here. Open and close. You want to think of squeezing those shoulder blades together. That's it. Now I made the mistake of standing on the leg that was underneath in the side plank. And it's burning. <sighs> Just shows how hard we work this area. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now hammer curls, palms stay facing each other the whole way. Oh, I'm cramping. Keep going. <laughs> So note to self, change legs from the side plank. Tummy pulled in, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your tummy. We've got 10 seconds. Five. Pulling in those abs. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Pump those weights down. Relax your arms. I need to stretch out my side. Oh, starting to cramp standing on that leg. Right, next one, we're gonna go into shoulders. So now we're gonna change legs, stand on the other leg. Shoulder press. Again, your arms don't go right behind you, they're about here. Palms facing forward. Then we're gonna hold it here, we're gonna go up and down, or you're just gonna hold it. Then we're gonna to go to shoulder press, Arnold press. So now with the Arnold press, you bring your palms facing your shoulders, and you twist. If this is too much, you can drop the weights and just do the movement. Okay, we're going in five seconds. Start with your hands up. Standing on that leg, let's go. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. That's it, squeeze. Making sure you're not swinging. Your tummy's pulled in. Nice. 10 seconds. Five. My weight's going to be too heavy to do the shoulder rotation. I might put them down. Three, two, one. So either stay here or we're going to go down and up. That's it. If it's too heavy, 
Put them down, check these weights. You don't want to injure anything. Tummy pulled in. Nice. 15 seconds to go. This is working those rotator cuff muscles. Don't sink. Five. Three. Two. One. Now twist your palms at your shoulders. Take them up, twist and back. Breathing out, squeeze up nice and tall. This is called an Arnold press with a little twist. Nice, 15 seconds to go. Tummy pulled in. Making sure you're not swinging or leaning back. Five. Three, two, let's go for one more. And relax it down, very nice. Right, coming down onto the floor. We're going into our ab circuit for this. So, this is gonna be hard. No surprises. We're gonna go into a straight leg dead bug. If you want, you can use a weight. You don't have to. You're gonna have straight legs. We're gonna stick alternating sides, straight leg dead bug for 30 seconds. Then 30, you're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. If you need to have the leg up there, that's fine. Then we're gonna alternate again, 30, and then change legs that you're holding it. The most important thing is that you don't feel your back. If you're feeling your back, bend your knees. If you need to put your other foot down on the ground, please do so. Tummy pulled in. We're going in 10 seconds. You don't have to do it with the weight if you don't want to. Legs up straight. Let's go in three, two, one. Opposite arm and leg. Breathing in and out. Tummy pulled in. Straight leg dead bug. Your low back stays glued to the floor. Tummy pulled in. Nice, we've got 10 seconds, then we're gonna hold it. When we hold, I'll talk you through it. Three, two, one. Now hold it here. With this position, you wanna make sure that you're still tilting that pelvis. So your abs are pulled in. If this arm is pulling into your neck at all, bend the arm a little bit and put the weight down. 15 seconds. If you need to lift that leg, tummy pulled in. Shoulders down and back for five, three, two, one. Let's take it up. Alternate sides. That's it. If you need to bend your knees a bit, please do. Connect. Pull that tailbone to your nose. Don't arch your back. When we do our 30 seconds hold, make sure you change sides. Tony pulled in. That's it, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, dropping it down and hold. Tilt that tailbone to your nose. Lift the leg if it's hurting your back. If you need to bend the knees, you can. Squeeze. Breathing out. 10 seconds, tummy pulled in. Five, three, two, one, and relax it down, well done. Stretch out the arms, stretch out the legs. Release those hip flexors, very nice. We're gonna take a little longer break with that because our next one is abs as well. We're gonna go into 30 seconds oblique twist. Then 30 seconds just holding to the one side. Then 30 seconds of a big twist. And then 30 seconds holding to the other side. Right, we've still got another 15 seconds. Breathing out, have some water if you need. The most important thing is that your back doesn't hurt, your abs are connected, you're tilting that tailbone. Let's get ready to go. In three, two, one, oblique twist. Now if anyone has back issues and it's hurting, you put your feet down and you just twist like this. You guys are machines. That 
that's not an option. Breathing out. No, Siri, I'm just dying. I don't want to talk to my phone. Tuck and pull in. Three, two, one. Now hold it here. Hold the twist. Keep getting that shoulder to your knee. Breathing out. If you need to lift your leg, if your back starts to hurt, lift it up. 15 seconds. Breathing out, tummy pull in. Five, three, two, one. Have a little rest, let's go. A big twist. Alternating sides. If you need to rest in between, you might not be able to straighten your abs though, just a warning. Whew. Oh my goodness. To rest, it might be easier to twist. Five, three, two, one. Twisting to the other side. Make sure your tailbone is tilted. Breathing out, holding it there, shoulder to knee. 15 seconds to go. If you need to lift that leg, make sure your tailbone is tilted. Nice. Five. Three, two, one. Very gently release and straighten out. Well done, guys. That was mammoth. Let's just lie, catch your breath, stretch out, shake out those arms and legs. Whew, that was amazing. Come on your tummy. We're just going to stretch out those abs. Otherwise, I promise you getting up tomorrow morning might be a challenge. Coming onto your elbows, relax your body, relax your back. And I just want you to think of sticking your chest to the wall in front of you. So you're just sticking, so we're not looking down. Stick your chest up and you should feel a nice stretch in those abs. Very good. Hold it there for another few seconds. Good, and from here, come push yourself up. Let's go back into a child's pose. Feet together, open your knees, stretching those hands out in front of you, and drop your bottom down to your heels. Think of trying to push your palms of your hands into the floor a bit, so you're really stretching out that low back. Nice. Keep your bum down to the floor. Take your left arm, hook that elbow around your knee and twist towards your right bum. Keep it down. Breathing out. Always think of twisting up. And breathing out. Use that breath out to get a little bit more range. Nice, let's change legs. Left over right. Keep that bum down. Take your right arm, hook that elbow around your knee and pull that leg towards your chest, twisting up to your left butt cheek. And breathing out. Very nice. Right, coming to sit in cross-legged. Let's just loosen up from here, dropping that elbow down. Let's go side to side a few times. Stretch. Breathing out. Nice, let's just go two more. Really try to enjoy it. Stretch, touch those fingers to the wall. And coming up into sitting, let's twist. Take that hand, put it on the back of your knee and twist. So this last stretch is more your low back rather than your glutes. And taking it to the other side. Use that hand at the back to help you come around a little bit more. And relax. Well done guys, that was mammoth. You were amazing. I've got to be honest, I think you won, I didn't. 
Thank you so much. I will see you guys next week.